My name is Maureen Cavanaugh. I run an organization called Magnolia New Beginnings. I also am the author of a book called If You Love Me, A Mother's Journey Through Her Daughter's Opioid Addiction. I spend a lot of time speaking to groups about my own struggle with my daughter's opioid addiction and the work that I've done since then in the community. I was very pleased to be asked to speak at the vigil in the Boston Common. She looked me straight in the eyes and said the most shocking sentence I have ever heard. She said, if you love me, you'd let me die. It was then, finally, that I truly realized how much pain she was in. She didn't want to live like that, but she couldn't find her way out no matter how hard she tried. She was one of the lucky ones, though. Today, after over 13 overdoses, she continues to fight, but still survives. It meant a lot to me to be standing there with people who had lost their children, people that are advocates that have worked so hard to be able to erase the shame and the stigma that goes along with this disease and to pay tribute to all of the people that we've lost, those that are also in recovery that day. It was an amazing experience. People need to know. They need to know who this happens to because I think people try to protect themselves with the idea that it only happens to somebody else. So this can't happen to us. And I'm here to say that it happened to me and it happened in my family. And if it can happen to me, it can happen to anybody. And we all know that, but not everyone knows that. When Derek and Sammy asked me to be part of the Revelations Recovery Award, I had no idea which award I was gonna get but I was thrilled to be asked and thrilled to come down there and talk with these amazing people. Recovery Fest was an amazing experience of bringing people together. A concert that was held for people, not just those in sobriety, but also those supporting people in sobriety. There were nearly 10,000 people there. My book is about my personal, intimate journey through my daughter's struggle with heroin. Each of us has a story, and that one is mine. The strength and courage that it took for both my daughter and me to get to today is monumental. Just, o just over a year ago, my daughter begged me to let her die. Today, I am incredibly grateful to watch as my daughter continues to fight this battle and win. For over 15 months. I am in awe of all of you, and we want you to know that there is strength in numbers and power in telling your story. The best part of the concert, I think, for me was to be able to speak with my daughter, who has now almost 16 months of recovery, and talking about our journey together. I was so blessed to be standing next to her, and that feeling was one of the best feelings I've had almost since the day she was born. I had the opportunity to speak with the security police and uh, administrative staff from Partners Health and um, talk to them about my experience, about the book and about the work that I'm doing. They're so lost and they want it so badly, but they, a lot of them don't believe they deserve it. They think they'll never get their life back together again. So you may see them walk into the, into the hospital you work in 10 times, 20 times, and you think to yourself, they're crying out loud. But for whatever reason, once their mind clears, many of them, all they can think about is how they will never get their family back, and they will never get their life back, and they've done so much damage to themselves and other people. What's the point? They were incredibly receptive and kind, and I really felt like I had made a difference there today speaking with the people, and that they came up to me afterwards and were very appreciative because I think that so many people, whether they talk about it or not, are going through this. And that's the response that I was getting. There were so many people in the audience today that related to this not only through their work, but also through their personal lives. My name is Maureen Cavanaugh, and I'm the author of If You Love Me, A Mother's Journey Through Her Daughter's Opioid Addiction. I am represented by Macmillan Speakers Bureau and available to speak at your event.